the next video in today's video i will show you how to resolve uh, the forged dynamic or revalidation issue for a server rendered uh, page in nextjs so uh, firstly let's get started uh, so what i'm doing is that i have a node.js application which is running on local host uh, 3001 and if and it is a get request and uh, every time uh, if you try to hit that endpoint it gives you a random number so i will just do a quick refresh and i have purposefully added a five seconds delay because i wanted to check suspense as well with nextjs application uh, so here you can see it gives a new uh, uh, random number uh, so also i am using nextjs 14.0.2 uh, uh, so this is the latest version at the time of this recording and this uh, issue of revalidation and force dynamic uh, not working has been present from nextjs 13 like the app router thing uh, i'm not still sure what is causing the issue but like i have read, read a lot of github issues on nextjs info about this not getting resolved so firstly here you can see that inside page.tsx i'm just using a suspense uh, and using a fallback so uh, once uh, till the server uh, components load uh, we will get this fallback and once it is load properly then we will just get this my server component okay so and here i'm just making a fetch call to my localhost 3001 get random number and just displaying it inside my h1 tag so first i will show you using this export const forge dynamic so this will not work so here you can see that i will just close this i will run an npm run dev okay and i will go to my next app i will refresh it uh, so here you can see it is still showing 55.015 uh, i am trying to refresh it still it shows the same thing okay so this is definitely not working next i will do an export export const revalidate equal to zero now even this is not working so i will just do npm run dev again i will refresh my page okay still it is not working uh, i like I, there is something some issue with the nextjs compiler uh, or maybe the docs are wrong uh, i don't know what's the exact issue but how to make this work right so all you have to do is inside your fetch now this will this catch of cache of no cache will only work with fetch it won't work with axios okay so if you are using axios you will have to figure out how to disable caching so here you can do something like this cache of no cache uh, then i will just run npm run dev i will refresh it and in my uh, like uh, uh, when i was doing export const revalidate equal to zero export const uh, force dynamic you uh, you might have noticed that i wasn't even getting that uh, suspense loading indicator because the page was statically cached now here you can see a new uh, number now i will try to refresh it again So here you can see a new number again uh, let me try it once more if i can see the suspense indicator i don't think so i'm not sure why okay so uh, anyways the purpose of this video was how to resolve those force dynamic and revalidation issues so that is getting uh, resolved you are able to see a new number every time okay and uh, there is one more way how to resolve this issue so instead of cache you can also write a uh, store uh, just a second yeah cache or no store okay so you can do something like this as well or no cache or no store i'm not exactly sure what's the difference between no cache and no store but i think uh, both of this uh, way works so if i try to refresh it again i'm not sure why the suspense loading indicator is not uh, getting displayed like it was displaying uh, previously uh, i'm not sure what exactly happened but anyways actually uh, at least uh, the number is getting updated so yeah uh, that was the purpose uh, of this uh, tutorial thank you for watching bye